Hey everyone, so in this video I'm going to show you guys how to incubate shipped eggs. Now I just got these eggs in, uh, wonderful packaging, nice big box, uh, she sent three dozen out, or two dozen she sent three, and um, lots of stickers, so pretty good. Nothing was cracked, she sent with uh, newspaper and directly in egg cartons with a little bit of bubble wrap. This is exactly how they came in yesterday. I just set them on the counter. You want to let your eggs rest for about 24 hours on the counter, pointy end down. Now she went ahead and it looks like she labeled all these as far as the dates. Today is the 23rd. It looks like some of these eggs were laid about nine days ago, maybe some of them 10 days ago. And that's perfectly fine. A lot of people out running a misconception that you absolutely need to, to incubate fresh eggs. You don't need to. We, we incubate eggs that are two to three weeks old all the time and it works out just fine. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna transfer all these over here to this and uh, I'm gonna also check them by date. That's why I kinda wanna see where, uh, where we're standing as far as how many, how old they are on the average date and all that stuff. It looks like the majority of them were laid about eight days ago on the 15th. That's the average. It's anywhere from the 13th to the 17th it looks like. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put them in here <clears throat> Just like this. Next you're gonna to want to get your incubator warmed up. 99.5 to 100 degrees Fahrenheit is what's gonna work for incubating chicken eggs. And uh, we have a cabinet GQF incubator or GQF cabinet incubator. You don't absolutely need one of these incubators. This is, we, have, we, we do a lot of eggs here so that's why we have it. But a normal regular small size incubator will work just fine as well. In fact, we get better hatch rates in our smaller incubator. They're just, uh, you can't fit as many eggs in there. And then again, in our small incubators, we like to do, we like to do uh, dry hatches and the cabinet incubators, you can't really do a dry hatch. It's, it gets too dry and uh, you have terrible hatch rates. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna increase the humidity here to about 40% for the first 18 days. And then after, from day 18 to day 21, we're gonna increase it to about 65%. Right, we, don't, we don't keep our eggs, uh, we don't constantly check them. We just check them on day 10 and then remove anything that hasn't started developing. And then day 18, we, we increase the humidity and day 21, is when we pull them out. We don't really like putting our hands in the incubator too much, opening and closing, opening and closing. We feel that that affects the hatch rate. So what we're doing here is just uh, gonna set it and forget it. Set a little alarm in my phone for 10 days and uh, what we'll do is see you in 10 days. Okay, it's day 10. We're gonna go ahead and pull these out and candle them and uh, see what's good, what's bad. gonna kill the lights here. I got this little candler, bought this a couple years ago. Works out really well. I like to do this at night time because obviously there's no light. Makes it a lot easier to candle. All right, so we got some development there. You can see. Um, let me make it easier for you guys. See movement in there? I've been doing this for a long time, so I can I can tell right away if, if something's developing or not. I'm just gonna kind of run through these real quick just to see. And if there's any that's not developing, I'll I'll stop and show you guys exactly what that looks like. That. 
is an empty egg cell right there. You can see how the air cell is kind of moving around in there. That's what a detached air cell looks like. And usually these, these don't hatch, so we'll pull that one. Move on to the next one. Looking good. So you can see the veining in there. You can see movement if you look close enough. You can see the, the egg moving around, or the embryo moving around. Like that. There's a, another detached air cell. You can see it just moving around. That is a blood ring. And that's what happens whenever uh, it starts and then quits. By this time, this should be full. But you can see right there where it started and then died. That's what you're looking for. Nice veins. Embryo in there that's moving. Blood ring. Blood ring. Keep that one around. All right, so I had to pull a lot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 13, 14. I had to pull 15. Now I ordered 24, she sent 36. So in reality, 20, there's, there's 21 good ones or you know that are developing. So 21 out of 24 is the way I look at it. You can look at it however you want, but that's how I look at it. All right, now if she only sent 24 and all 15 of these were bad, then I would be a little bit upset because a lot of these are detached. Uh, which means just basically they took a lot of damage during ship shipment. I mean, that's all. It happens, but, you know, it is what it is. Anyways, we're going we're gonna to stack these in here all nice and neat, and uh, we're going to let them... You want them uh, together as close as possible. That way they, uh, they have a lot of uh, uh, mass. It's all touching, and, and they're warming, warming each other up. Something like that. Alright, let's go ahead and throw this back in, and then uh, I'll see you guys on uh, day 18. Okay, it's day 18 on these shipped eggs. What we're going to do is we're going to open this up. We're going to level it out. We'll pull them out. our tray. We're going to get our mats. You can use uh, paper towels and you can buy these specifically from GQF or wherever and use those as well. And we're just going to transfer our eggs over. Now at this point you can candle these if you want. I don't need to. I already know that I checked them at day 10. I'm pretty confident in them being, uh, at least most of them being fertile or uh, 
mostly developed. So uh, we're just gonna put them in here and we're gonna increase the humidity on our incubator to 60 to 70%. And we're gonna leave it at that and then we're gonna keep it at lockdown, meaning we're not gonna open until day 21. And that's how we run things around here. So there's not that much going in here, just like 23 eggs. We're gonna throw it back in here on the bottom rack. We're gonna keep the turner off. You don't need the turner at this point anymore, and even in the small ones. So we'll just put it down in here. And then for, for this one, all we gotta do is take a, a pad and put it in here, and that's gonna increase the humidity without us having to change anything. Meaning, without us having to adjust any of the uh, humidity settings. And then we'll, we'll watch that rise. I'll show you guys that here in a second. And we're just gonna wait those three days and hopefully hatch out most of them. All right, so pretty happy with our hatch. Uh, these these guys look really good, other than the occasional uh, like white toe, which is fine, toenail toe. To me, that's perfectly acceptable uh, for what I ordered. And my hatch rate was pretty decent. It's not perfect, you know. Obviously, like these are shipped eggs; they're coming from a few states over. So you know, just keep that in mind when you order eggs. That you know, 50% hatch is good. So a 50% hatch is is pretty much a good rate, and you know expect anywhere plus or minus you know 20 around there usually. But uh, a lot of the eggs that came in had detached air cells, and then uh, I'm pretty happy with these. So like I said, these guys look great, and I'm gonna breed them myself, and uh, we'll check back in here in a in a little bit. Well, hey, if you guys like seeing chicks and chicken videos and hatching eggs and all that stuff, uh, hit the like button. Really appreciate that. Subscribe if you want to see more of these videos. And uh, thank you for watching.